So today is Friday the 13th uh, in October, which is the day when the Knights Templar were murdered in 1307 by um, the King of France, Philip, and Pope Clement. They tortured the Templars and brutally, quite brutally, and then um, murdered the last of them, including the last Grand Master, Jacques de Molay. And they've controlled the history of the Templars, as these insane institutions do. So a lot of people think that the Templars were demonic, and they worshipped Baphomet, the devil. <laughs> and it's absurd, because the Templars were... one of the last true Christians. And Baphomet is a code for Sophia. And in their cells, where um, after they were murdered, they found etchings of the symbol of Venus on the walls. And people to this day wonder, what does that mean? <laughs> it means they worshipped Sophia. It means they worshipped the goddess. It means that they were nature-loving, mother-abiding, true Christians. They weren't this patriarchal, insane version of Christianity, this fundamentalism that took hold of history and has worked its way through so many institutions um, today in Zionism, but of course historically through the institution of Catholicism. And we're seeing the Catholic institutions supporting the Zionist regime. And it's interesting because I have a deep connection to the Templars. And everything happens in cycles, so there's nothing to be mad about. However, today it flips, the tables turn again into the light, into illumination, into the truth and unity. And everything that the Templars had developed had been stolen by the Vatican and they took the wisdom and hid it in their Freemasonry lodges and they used the wisdom of how to create your own reality. They used it against people and they used it for their own gain. Yeah, and I'm also not talking about the Templars that like killed or crusaded in the name of the Catholic Church. By that point, it had been so infiltrated. Because one of the things you had to do to become a Templar was to spit on the cross. And again, this is what fundamentalists will use to be like, you see, they were demon worshippers. No, if you can spit on the cross with Jesus hanging on it, that means that you have rebuked demon worship. You have rebuked the false story of the crucifixion and the blood sacrifice of our master. The false story of having a God that needs our teacher to be hung on a cross like an animal. That's the code. The code was, if you can spit on the cross, you've proven that you're not an indoctrinated, dogmatic mind that has been swept up into full-on blood sacrifice, Catholicism, manipulation, dogma. Even though you might not identify as dogma, um, as Catholic, Catholic, Catholic today, um, believing that very singular story and, you know, Jesus died and if I don't believe that, you know, I go to hell and, you know, you know, the apocalypse is coming and I'm literally living in a, in a movie storyline, believing it's real. <laughs> it's insane. You know, the second coming storyline that the, the Zionists, the Christian Zionists and the Jewish Zionists are doing everything in their power to make come about is the most insane predictive pro programming operation happening today <laughs> they try to fulfill their own prophecies so there's absolute destruction and they're like well this is what it says in the book in the good book so you know it must be ordained by god i'm like no you guys are manufacturing it you believed the insane story and now you're manufacturing it in reality it's not happening to you you're manufacturing it because of the story you believe if, imagine you believed a story that said, and God led all brothers and sisters come together in love and unity once and for all, and no apocalypse was ever needed ever. Amen. Imagine that was the book you were given as a kid, and you believed that story. 
well, then that's what you would be manifesting. <laughs> that's the insanity of it all. You know, like heaven is legitimately right here, right now. There is nothing you need to get to. It's in this very moment. You are the Christ. You are the Atman. It's happening. You just need to get the programming out of your brain and your body to sink into the fact that everything's good. You're loved. It's fine. There's no wars. There's no need to create wars because you've got to get some. Jesus isn't coming down on a cloud, guys. That's absolutely idiotic. Like, fundamentalist Christians think he's coming back in person. I don't want to be too hard on you guys because I used to be one of you guys. So I have a lot of compassion. But when you come out of it and you look on it, you're like, oh my God, that was insane thinking. You know, the second coming as a metaphor for the Christ being born in yourself, the, the, the Christ consciousness, the illumination, your I am awareness being born within, you know, so it's, it's madness thinking it's legitimately real. It's like you're a five-year-old child. Yeah. Anyway, so that's why the Templars spat on the cross. <laughs> To prove that they weren't indoctrinated, dogmatic slaves. Jesus is my master and I'll spit on the cross any day. Because he didn't hang on it. Anyway. The tables have turned. And maybe, you know, 2,000, 3,000 years in the future, they'll turn back again and the Lord of Death will have us go at humanity again through some other vehicle. You know, it's always another vehicle. It's come through the Catholic institution now. It's coming through the Zionist institution. It's come through the Ottoman Empire. It's come through so many vehicles. The Lord of Death, which is the Lord of Separation. Believing that you are, that those are others, us and them. It's basic, you know, the bedrock of colonization is us and them thinking. Anyway. Remember, remember Jacques de Molay, the last grandmaster, the one the crown and church slay.